Hi everyone, welcome to uh, ReliableEyewitness.com, our video review series. Uh, the first of which is going to be the GT550W. Uh, the reason that we're starting to do these reviews is just to give the customers a little bit more uh, in-depth knowledge to the cameras and some of the tricks and tips to using them so they get the most out of their camera. Anyway, the uh, GT550W by Shadow Recorder is the brand new camera. Features 1080p resolution with the new wide dynamic range technology coupled with a 6G glass lens. What that does is give you excellent video quality during the day and at night. What we're aiming to do is just go through the camera, give you a kind of in-depth look at the menus, uh, what you get in the box, and uh, general workings of the camera. We'll couple this with uh, real video displays of uh, daytime and nighttime, and um, hopefully that helps everybody out. We've got a nice uh, 2.7 inch screen, diagonal screen, wide screen. The uh, menu, mode, up, down, HDMI, and a reset button up top. Uh, power in, audio video out, adapter for the suction bracket. This is a quick release mount. Got the power on off, and the stop pause recording, and also selecting in and out of your menu system. Just uh, have a look at the mount here. Uh, suction bracket mount, very easy to use and very versatile. This has got a ball, so you have lots of range of motion on it, whatever way you want. Locks down with a big screw, really nice uh, soft rubber suction mount. It holds the cameras very well and a nice lockdown. Very easy to install. That's it. Done. In the box, you're going to get a 13 foot long power cord. This is a new power cord with an on off switch. You get the HDMI, or sorry, a USB lead for doing your uh, hooking up to the computer, transferring the files off of the camera onto your computer. You don't have to take the SD card out, you can just do it this way. We also have a HDMI cable and a nice manual in English. Lots of pictures, very easy to read, very easy to follow. So we'll hook power up and we'll just go through the menus and um, we'll take it in the car after this. So as soon as you add, introduce power to the unit, it's going to want to start recording automatically, so you're going to have to press the top outside button. That stops your recording, and you'll know that by the LED will stop flashing, as well as there's a red dot here to stop flashing. There's two menus in this camera, so you can menu once. That's the first menu, second menu over there, and then back again. First menu, menu is up and down, wide dynamic range, and select in is this button. I'll just go through the menu really quick. They're all very self-explanatory.
that's it for the menu. Next step, put it in the car and see what it looks like. Car with the GT550W. I'll give you a quick look. That's how it mounts up. I always like to take the uh, power cord wire and support it by looping it about once around the rear view mirror. <clears throat> that takes the uh, any strain off the uh, actual power connector. So we'll go ahead and we'll uh, give it some power here. And of course you can uh, route your wire any way you want. We just have it up here for testing, so we'll just leave it that way, but it's very easy to uh, run it along the top of the headliner, down your A-pillar, around the uh, dashboard, down around, and you can plug it into the same, same port, or uh, you can actually hardwire it in permanently to your car's wiring. This is what it looks like from the outside of the car. It's pretty much the best shot I can get with all the glare and stuff, but it doesn't take up much room. A lot of times it's uh, almost better to have it mounted up here. It kind of puts the camera up a little bit better. But uh, right now we're just doing a test. Hopefully that helps everybody out. That was the GT550W, the new wide dynamic range lens. And uh, we're gonna show you some uh, videos now on the uh, daytime, nighttime video compare the two and just see how great this little camera actually is.